Recently, Burkina Faso's military leader, Ibrahim Traoré, dispatched high-ranking military generals to Rwanda, a nation under the rule of another military leader for the past 23 years. Despite a prior collective security pact between Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali, there was widespread anticipation of Rwanda joining the alliance. This expectation stems from the considerable influence of Rwanda's leader, Paul Kagame, who is recognized as one of the most powerful African leaders. The prospect of Kagame aligning with Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali would create a formidable alliance, instilling fear in Western powers. Despite earlier attempts by the West to dissuade Rwanda from involvement, recent developments indicate a shift in dynamics. Captain Ibrahim Traoré seeks to bring Paul Kagame to the negotiating table, leading to the dispatch of his generals to Rwanda for secretive discussions and agreements that have heightened concerns among Western nations. Burkina Faso looks to diversify its military and economic partnerships in Africa. Now the question is why has Ibrahim Traoré chosen Rwanda for its first African military partnership outside West Africa? That is what we look at in this video. If you are new to the channel please subscribe and turn on notifications to stay updated. The Chief of General Staff of the Burkina Faso Armed Forces and his delegation conducted an official visit to Rwanda this month. During the visit, he paid respects to the victims of the 1994 genocide by visiting the Kigali Genocide Memorial and the Campaign Against Genocide Museum at the Parliament Building in the afternoon. However, these visits to historical sites were part of a larger plan, indicating that the Chief of General Staff had not come solely to pay homage but to discuss confidential matters. The delegation engaged in discussions at the Rwanda Defense Force headquarters with the Honorable Minister of Defense, Juvenal Marizamunda, and the RDF Chief of Defense Staff, in cooperation with the Rwanda Defense Force. The Burkina Faso Armed Forces delegation received briefings on selected defense facilities and welfare schemes including Zigama CSS, military medical insurance and the Armed Forces shop as part of their schedule. They also visited the Rwanda Military Academy. It's noteworthy that the chief of the general staff was accompanied by other generals one of them included the inspector general of Burkina Faso's police force who met with the police chiefs of Rwanda. Inspector general of police Felix Namuhorani hosted his counterpart controller General Dr. Emmanuel Yudrishabuja at the Rwanda National Police General Headquarters in Kigali for a week-long visit aimed at strengthening police cooperation. Namuhorani expressed appreciation for the visit emphasizing Rwanda's policing accomplishments since its establishment 23 years ago. The Rwanda National Police has made significant investments in training, acquiring policing equipment and enhancing operational capabilities to ensure security not only in Rwanda but also in other countries like the Central African Republic of South Sudan and Mozambique where Rwanda has deployed police units. Mozambique has been fighting a jihadist insurgency for years. The country's greatest success, however, happened when it turned to an unlikely partner to defeat the jihadists, the Rwandan Defense Force. At the request of Mozambican President Felipe Nyusi in July 2021, Rwanda deployed 1,000 of its own troops to the embattled Cabo Delgado province. Home to a $30 billion gas project run by the French giant Total Energies with Mosamboa de Praia, a key port town through which essential materials for developing the plant are shipped. Local jihadists were ravaging both towns. This region in Mozambique is of major strategic importance. ExxonMobil was building its own gas field nearby, which it expects to produce 31 million tons of LNG annually. Most of the gas was going to Britain and France. The Rwandan military's efforts have proven successful in reducing a 2,500-strong insurgency, which has carried out massive attacks on civilian infrastructure and caused 800,000 people to flee their homes, to about 300 men, according to Bloomberg. Peace and stability have been restored to many parts of the most war-ravaged towns in Mozambique. According to researchers who studied the Mozambique anti-terrorism fight, Rwandan troops' professionalism stands out and contributes to their good relations with the local population. The visit facilitated the exchange of ideas and experiences on various policing aspects, further strengthening the groundwork for a robust partnership in addressing law enforcement challenges. Controller General Yudrishabuja acknowledged Rwanda's exemplary policing and conveyed a desire to learn from Rwanda's contributions to security and development born in southern Rwanda in 1957. Kagame's early life involved navigating anti-Tutsi operations growing up in Rwandan communities and Ugandan refugee camps. He later joined the National Resistance Army in Uganda upon his return to lead the RPPF in Rwanda the country faced significant challenges including looted coffers mass killings traumatized survivors and a failed state. 
Given the global and regional concerns about terrorism, seeking military support from African countries may be a way for Burkina Faso to maintain control over its internal affairs and avoid potential external influences associated with support from Western nations. Burkina Faso and Rwanda may cooperate in developing strategies and share intelligence to counteract terrorist threats. Both countries could conduct joint military exercises to enhance their armed forces' interoperability and effectiveness in responding to various security challenges. Also establishing training programs where military personnel from Burkina Faso and Rwanda train together can contribute to skill development and knowledge sharing. Enhanced cooperation in intelligence sharing can help both countries address common security threats. There is a growing emphasis on African solutions to African problems. Burkina Faso may align with this principle, advocating for African nations to take a leading role in resolving security challenges on the continent. African countries often share cultural and historical ties, and Burkina Faso may feel a closer affinity with African nations. Cooperation with African partners may be seen as more culturally resonant and aligned with shared values. African countries may have a better understanding of the local dynamics and security challenges in Burkina Faso. This understanding can be valuable in crafting effective strategies to address specific threats. Over the past 25 years Rwanda has undergone a profound national transformation offering a compelling case study a significant achievement is seen in the realm of maternal health where Rwandan mothers now receive comprehensive antenatal and postnatal care resulting in a remarkable 77% decrease in maternal mortality ratios between 2000 and 2013, and routine vaccinations for newborns. A clean city and safe nighttime strolls for citizens have become the norm from a Rwandan perspective. These advancements embody human rights in action contributing to the support for constitutional changes in 2015 that allowed Kagame to run for election again after his term ended in 2017 with over 60% of voters in favor. While concerns are raised by some outsiders about the lack of a clear successor being groomed, Kagame has chosen a different path mentoring thousands of young men and women to guide the country into the future the average age of his cabinet is 40 with women comprising 50%. In 2018, Kagame chaired the African Union advocating for transformative initiatives like the Continental Free Trade Area signed in Kigali. Despite his unassuming stature Kagame came to power after overthrowing the genocidal regime in 1994 and remains a steadfast figure recently declaring his candidacy for a fourth presidential term. His influence extends beyond Rwanda's borders with troops actively engaged in various international missions combating rebels in the Central African Republic facing jihadists in Mozambique and preparing for deployment to Benin. Rwanda, the fourth smallest country in Africa with a population of approximately 13 million has made significant strides since the devastating events of the 1994 genocide the nation has witnessed substantial reconstruction achieving progress in poverty reduction economic development healthcare and overall quality of life the poverty rate dropped from 77 percent in 2001 to 55 percent in 2017 and life expectancy surged from 26 years in 1993 to 69 years in 2019 earning Rwanda a place among the top five countries globally for gender equality in the 2017 Global Gender Gap Report Female representation in parliament reached 61% and women's participation in the labor force stood impressively at 84% in 2019. What do you think of a possible Burkina Faso and Rwanda military partnership? Do you think Rwanda can once again be the unlikely partner that helps a military government defeat terrorism once again in Africa? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you like the videos I bring you on this channel, please hit the like button and share the video with others. See you in our next video and until then, stay safe.